Today we are ranking the Mortal Kombat 1 characters based on how good I think they would be at Mario Kart. Yeah, baby, we're doing it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into this tier list ranking again. We are ranking the characters based solely on how I think, how good I think they would be at Mario Kart. So up top we have first place. They are always just smoking you. They're always in first place no matter what. They are a god at Mario Kart. Then right beneath that they're always just for some reason getting second or third. They can never snag that first place medal. And then we have of course their mid, they can race, whatever. Or they're always getting last place but they do finish the race. Or very bottom they are absolute child they're just hitting walls they don't know how to hold the controller they don't know what's going on <laughs> this is gonna be great let's just jump Shang Tsung I feel like Shang Tsung just always getting second or third man he's he's almost there he's like I've I've played so many times but I can never get first place he's like the question isn't can I afford to get first place the question is can I afford not to get first place Reiko can finish the race but I I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna <laughs> he can finish him. He's always just like last and he's just pissed about it. I love Natara, but she's just she's hitting walls. She doesn't know what's going on. She she doesn't know what she's doing. She goes, What what do you guys gotta hold this? And she's boom into the wall. Things in Doe is pretty mid. She can like get sometimes first place, sometimes last, but she she can she can race. Listen, to have mommy Sindel play video games with me anytime, any game is a dub by itself. Ashra is always hitting walls. She doesn't know what's going on. She she's just so focused on healing herself and her soul that she's like, I don't even know what Mario is. Liu Kang gets first place. So Liu Kang always gets first place. He's been playing Mario Kart for literal eons. He knows what he's doing. Reptile is also getting, he grew up playing Mario Kart. His kid days were just filled with Mario Kart on the 64, the Wii. He is getting first place for sure. For some reason, I feel like Havoc is also just like, for some reason, getting last place and he's mad about it. He's like, you cheated, this is trash, this game sucks, there's a glitch, there's no way I lost. And in reality, he just doesn't know how to play Mario Kart. It might surprise you, but Garrus is always first place. He, again, he's been playing for eons and he's like, oh, how do you play the game? Oh, suck, I've been playing forever. Uh, he's a first place winner for sure. Anya tries, man. She she really does. She's she gets first place sometimes. Like she's like high second or third, but for some reason she's just always snagging that silver and bronze medal. She just never really gets that first place. But she she's almost there. I feel like Shao's the same way. Shao's just really wanting to get first place, but he just can never freaking do it. He's always getting beat by somebody else, and he tries so hard. He trains so hard. He he goes and trains for Mortal Kombat, comes back and just races on Mario Kart, and then still loses. Rock is pretty mid. He can do. He can hold his own he can race he's not a pro by any means but he's pretty decent Lee may is also just hitting walls i don't know what it is about her personality but it does not scream mario kart to me you know what i'm saying there's a reason why smoke's power is literally smoke you know what that is it's when he peels out on the cart and all you see is smoke because you are just sitting in his dust he is getting first place for sure him and reptile grew up together just playing mario kart man they are neck and neck every single time johnny cage likes to brag about the couple first place medals he's got but honestly most of the time he's just getting second or third but he digs he's like yeah i'm pretty good at mario kart like he's pretty humble about it but not really he brags about his second and third but he brags mostly about those couple first places that he's got under his belt but that's about it kung lao is really cocky and but he he really wants to get first place but almost never does he's always getting second or third and it's because raiden's always getting first man raiden is that guy that's like oh yeah you want to race and then raiden lets you win like oh dude good job like high five well that was a really good race want to race again and then he just smokes you and he goes oh I didn't even know I could do that. Yeah, that's rated. I, I, I feel bad doing these tier lists when I have Kenshi in this roster because Kenshi's blind, so it's like, he's just gonna hit the walls. He's gonna have no idea what's going on. So I, I'm sorry, Kenshi. Dude, Rain is also just does not know how to play Mario Kart. He's just getting last place. He's like, what the freak? He, he'll finish the race. He knows kind of what's going down, but he just, his luck is never on his side, man. He just gets wrecked every single game. Scorpion is mid at Mario Kart and he knows it and he's okay with it. Like he's like, yeah, I'll race you and have a good time with you. But he, he knows he ain't gonna win, but he knows he ain't gonna get last. And he's okay with that. Sub-Zero is also mid because they grew up playing Mario Kart together. But the difference between the Scorpion and Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero just gets really mad at Mario Kart. Like he gets like fifth place, sixth place and just freaking throws the controllers. Like this game sucks. It's because I didn't get bullet bill or like you got the green shell and you hit me this game is bogus like he does that katana will surprise you and she'll get second or third a lot of the time she's pretty dang good at mario kart and you're like whoa never expected that out of you i feel like same goes with melina man they're always just neck and neck they're just like sub-zero and scorpion melina
and Katana grew up playing playing Mario Kart together. And man, for some reason, they're both really good. But you know, sometimes Melina will get first, sometimes Katana gets first, back and forth, back and forth. But when they go up against Raiden, Gara, Smoke, Reptile, or Liu Kang, they just get absolutely shrunk. Omni Man, for some reason, is just first place at Mario Kart. He passes you, he just he just does this. He's like, think, man, think as he passes you. He's like, think, Reptile, use the green shell, think. What is this tier list, dude? Oh my gosh. All right, so the, the top best Mario Kart players are Liu Kang, Reptile, Smoke, Gears, Raiden, Omni Man, everything in between, and then absolutely just hitting the walls. They don't know what's going on. Natara, Ashra, Lee, Mei, and Kenshi. Again, I feel bad for Kenshi. He's blind. What are you going to do? Let me know down below. Where did your main end up on this Mario Kart skill tier list? Where would you have placed your main on this tier list? Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time.